Samuel Barber was one of the United States' most celebrated composers, and of his vast output, there's no piece that is more instantly recognisable and more, more full of longing and loss and despair than his Adagio for Strings. It was premiered in 1938 by Toscanini, and it came in the wake of the Great Depression, and America was still recovering from that, and just as Europe was sliding into war. So these feelings of loss are bubbling up from the very first long, drawn-out violin melody. And as a performer, as a conductor, whenever we we do this with orchestras, the great challenge of this slow music over these, these softly crunchy dissonant harmonies is to spin out this long line, a sort of endless melody, to get everything to connect one to the other, when to let the music breathe. It's inspired so many people over the decades and has been used to mourn the deaths of many people. Franklin Roosevelt, after the assassination of JFK, at the funeral of Albert Einstein, to name just a few. But it's this soulful, longing look at despair and the beauty that comes from the consolation of coming together that is really what sets this piece apart in Samuel Barber's output. And here we have another deeply moving, deeply felt performance by Leonard Slatkin, the conductor, himself a great exponent of American music in general and Samuel Barber's works in particular. And this is a performance conducted in London with the BBC Symphony Orchestra just a few days after the September 11 terrorist attacks in New York. 